While on a training camp in 2019, Team Ineos Grenadiers, including Geraint Thomas, Cameron Wirth and Dylan Van Bala, decided to ride an entire lap of Mallorca, 312 kilometers, just for fun. And they did it in eight and a half hours, averaging 36 kilometers per hour. That distance and pace is mind-blowing. Ollie and I want to see if, with the help of modern kits and careful planning, how we would compare. How close could we get? Could we perhaps go even faster? Well, it's time to find out. This is going to be tough. I'm scared to do a fart just in case it's a poo. This route is tough. Starting and finishing in Alcudia, it's 312 kilometers long with nearly 4,000 meters of climbing. It's a beautiful route that takes in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Tramontana Mountains and many stunning coastal roads. Many of these roads are cycling bucket list material. Now we will be uploading our rides to Strava, so if you fancy riding the route, which is also the OG312 route, then you can actually download the GPX from our Strava activities, try it yourself and see how you compare to both us and Ineos. This route is stunning any time of the year. Uh, Ineos managed it in 8 hours 37 minutes. Moving time, their total time though, was 9 hours 18. So they averaged just under 36k an hour. And it appears they stopped for sandwiches just after Palmer. <laughs> it also appears they were just on a Zone 2 endurance training ride. But the question is, if we ride absolutely full gas, can we beat the Ineos Grenadiers? Yeah, can us two chumps? Going flat out, beat the world's best, riding zone two. It's kind of humbling, actually. Yeah, and yeah. we don't. If we don't stop for sandwiches as well, then we, I think we've got a chance. It felt like a good idea yesterday, and I'm incredibly apprehensive. Well, let's get cracking. Wish us luck. Energy, energy. You get, take some of my energy. Energy. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> right. <laughs> we can do it. Come on. Just coming past Port Palenza now. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's going to be a tough day, and we're going to need every bit of help we can get if we're going to do it. Fortunately, we've got Abus on board, who've uh, kindly agreed to help make the video possible and sort us out with their Game Changer 2 helmets. You may recognise these as being worn by uh, the likes of Mobby Star, Alps de Koenig, and world champion Matthew van der Poel. And, uh, well, this is a, a size medium, it's 265 grams. But these aero helmets are gonna give us an advantage today. We tested them in the wind tunnel. More on that later in the vid, because now, well, we've got to crack on a bit. He's got a bloody puncture, hasn't he? Well, good job we're prepared with spares. The best nothing. thing is, I put my stuff in the van. The tube is in my uh, is in my rucksack. Yeah, mine too. Huh. I didn't. I didn't. Shit. <laughs> in the os, probably had a team car with him with a spare wheel. Yeah. Oh, We're stuck here like a we pair need, of lemons. We, we desperately need oh, an we? inner tube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's that's, that's, that's the better. ticket. Nice guy, tube. Yeah. Oh, good okay, quick picture, up. boys. <laughs> You're all in. Have yeah. a good ride. Enjoy your ride. Yeah, Best thing about it is, Mallorca, hugely okay. popular with cyclists, like, actually saved our day. Saved our bacon, quite literally. So we're about a kilometre into our first climb of the day, the colder for Menya. It's about seven kilometres long with an average gradient of close to 5.4%. 5.7. 5 5.7, it's yeah. steeper than I said. Yeah, but it's still a fast climb. Now, Ineos, according to Strava, averaged 18k an hour when they did this on their ride. We're currently doing about that, a bit less, but it does speed up this climb towards the top. So we feel like we're on track.
just hitting the top of that first climb. We managed to go about the same speed as Ineos, but I think they were taking it a lot easier than us, mate. So nutrition is going to be super important on this ride. Now, when Ineos did it, it looked like they mostly did it in zone two, but we're, we're definitely riding quite a bit above that. Yeah. So we're going to need to fuel We're going to rip quite through calories, aren't we? Yeah, so the basic strategy is for us to try and get in about 120 grams of beta fuel every hour. It's quite a lot. Yeah. For people that aren't used to consuming that amount of food and energy on the bike, it's something you need to build into your training. What also helps is the type of food that you're eating. Products like that are developed to try and be easy on your stomach and easily absorbed. Yeah. So hopefully, it's another little trick of our sleeve that'll help us out. We need everything we can get. <laughs> So as you'd expect, we're using all the, the tech marginal gains we can, you know, wax chains all round. But in terms of the difference an aero helmet like the Game Changer 2 can make to you on a ride like this, well, when we've looked at aero helmets in the tunnel, it's going to vary depending on the helmet that you're switching to uh, and from, and also you as well, because aerodynamics is always system dependent. That being said, we feel confident in saying that you typically observe a sort of range in CDA reduction between 0 0.005 and 0 0.01 and, CDA. Um, well, I tell you what, for those of you that don't speak nerd, like Ollie, that equates to a difference of between around three to six minutes over the duration of the long ride that we're doing today. So. If it comes down to the wire, it could be all that makes a difference. Yeah. Quick little update on progress now. So we have 234 kilometers to go. And we're actually on this beautiful coastal path on the north of the island, just past Dea, where the roads are much quieter. We've got a six kilometer climb ahead of us. I think we're doing all right. Ollie, you good? Yep, yeah, Beautiful. all good. This is uh, one of the best roads in the world, I'd say. That is fantastic. So we're currently averaging 29.1 kilometers per hour, which is a lot slower than the total average time we're aiming for, but this route is front loaded with lots of mountains. And so Ineos, in the first 140K, averaged 29.4. So that's kind of the ballpark we're aiming at. I'm just wondering why you seem to be on a different bike. Marginal gains to the max, mate. It's what the pros would do. We've done most of the climbing now, so I've gone for a, a, a bike change, like what the pros do. Work for Primoz. Where's what my other bike? Si lent me his aero bike and some uh, 858s. <laughs> of course For he the did. flat section. Whatever. Yeah, it's going to be good, isn't it? Right on. still to go, 162k.
175k in. We're really struggling now. It was really slow going past Palmer. Quite a bit of traffic. And now we've just got savage headwind. It's really like killing our average speed. It's hampering progress. Yeah. I'm going for a bit of a bad patch. It's over 30 degrees. It's hard. the ride is getting faster now really flat nice roads and the choice to go to the aero bike is uh, what I'm glad I've done we're a hundred K to go mate oh. and the speed is creeping up but yeah but my ability and energy is falling rapidly is it I mean uh, Oh man, I'm struggling, but I'm hanging in there. Hanging, buddy. Not long. Oh man, you're motoring along. Look, I love it. Just think of the of that pudding trolley at the, at the Zafiro Palace Hotel. That endless oh. pudding trolley. The, the more you eat, the more they just replace and bring back out onto the buffet pudding oh. trolley. It feels like bottomless safe. pudding trolley. It just feels, think of that. Your favourite thing. It feels so far away. In some random villagey town. I've been suffering for the last hour and a half now. I don't want to put a downer on it. It feels like the wheels are coming off of our bus. I can't pretend I am bloody struggling. We've got 80k to go. Right now, the thing that I'm finding the hardest is the heat. It's like 30 degrees today, and uh, it, we're just drinking water constantly, but. Oh man, it's. Have you seen the state of my shorts? They're actually salt. Yeah. <laughs> Very salty. And your top. Do you know what? I uh, am somewhat regretting our decision to do this now. Yeah, I am, yeah. yeah. To be fair, yeah. Honestly, Ollie, yeah, yeah. Go without me. It's fine. I just can't be doing with like fast time now. I just, we just need to get it done and like, I just, even if I, I just set off slow, I just need to keep moving. Well, these guys, let alone the sort of people I want to be riding with right now. Baskets. They're doing yeah. it right, aren't they? We're idiots. I mean, if we stand any hope of beating any of us, we've got 40 minutes left. I don't think I've got it in me. We have... Oh, it breaks my heart saying it. 58k. Come on! Ah, oh, Alex, you f It's one of those things, like, when you do something this long, you don't know what's going to happen. You, you, you're going into the unknown. Yeah, mate, I'm there. Ah, oh, I think I'm just dead. Eight hours 40. That was our time goal. That's an anti-climax, isn't it? Oh, I've got nothing left, mate. I know, but I'll help. I'm gonna stop for a minute. Yeah, that would be best, Alex. What do you need? What a 
very bad. Ah, oh, I'm really pissed off. Look at that state of me. God, just get moving again. What's so funny is I... <clears throat> I'm the exact person that would be like, oh, come on, crack on. Yeah, right, I'm going to move. We're on the home stretch, about 16 kilometres left. And I think it's fair to say that Alex is currently experiencing the biggest bonk of his life. It's not there with the best of them. You've, mate, you've, you've got this. That is a truly impressive amount of salt that's all over your... Uh, just all over you, basically. But yeah, we got it, man. This is home straight. It's gonna, we've, we've got it. I feel like I've needed a poo for the last five hours. Uh. It's got to the point where I'm scared to actually have a fart in case it's a poo. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm for that. It's getting cooler. Temperatures are more comfortable yeah. now. Man. Ah. My ears are like echoing. Ah. So I'd uh, sit down and wait in the shade. Finish is just down there. Do you want to just roll down a bit and then we'll come to a stop? Yeah? Get it done? It's like literally in sight. Come on, thank you. I feel so bad in such a bad way. Thanks, mate. You all right? Good riding. Where? Just here by Burger King. Did it! Well done, mate. Give me a high five. Crossing our imaginary finish line, we managed to complete the ride in 10 hours, 1 minute and 24 seconds, with an average speed of 31.1 kilometres per hour. Although slower than Ineos overall, we did go slightly faster than them over the first 140k in the mountains. Oh, and uh, Alex, well, he was 6 kilograms lighter. Well done. I mean, mate, you, you've absolutely smashed it. It's all right. I am a... Uh... I mean, that's a rival for, like, one of Connor's bonks, that is. Yeah, I'm so bad. My ears have gone funny and they're echoing. We'll get back to the hotel. The pudding trolley awaits. We didn't beat the time. No, we didn't, but I'm, uh, I think this is a perfect opportunity to pull out my big book of cycling excuses. So one, we got a puncture. Two, we had a, we had a headwind. It was warmer when they did it, yeah. it was in, like, a colder time of the year, so it wasn't 30 degrees. So we had that. You also had to wait for me. They, had a, they had a full team. It was mm. just me and you. And um, they're quite a bit better than us. I think we can be proud. But, um, well, if, if you like... Well, if you think we've done a, a good job today, then um, and you're impressed with Alex's bonk. I mean, just for your salt stains, they should give the video a thumbs up. I think I'm just hugely dehydrated from this salt. Yeah. And, um, yeah, let me know, show your respect for, for uh, my efforts. And I think, I think it's fair to say, Helmet's travelled a lap of the island now. Yeah. <laughs> Big thanks to Abus for making this video happen. And yeah. um, we'll see you in the next one. Share it with your friends, if you've got any. I don't think I've got any left now. Right. Come on, Alex. Let's go. I don't want to cycle back. Come on, you've got it. Just round the corner. <laughs>